Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's embattled lawyer fixer currently in apparent pretty major legal difficulties. This is shown for noon as the halfway point. The time is unknown. However, my guess is that he is almost certain to have a moon in Capricorn and you notice that by the possible range the moon would have entered at 7.37 a.m. So sometime after that is likely to be his birth and this is because his problems materialized in a pretty big way in April of uh, 2018 with Saturn stationing in Capricorn around nine degrees. So chances are this moon is going to be somewhere in the Capricorn degrees from zero to uh, eight and a half as shown here as the possible range. And that being the case, these degrees of the moon and Eris are going to connect him to similar degrees in Trump's chart that are also under really heavy pressure. Now the thing is, if you look at Cohen's, uh, even without a time, you see that in his progressions, progressed Mars is right next to his sun. That is a great description of the turbulence he currently finds himself in and in his directions solar arc directions you see solar arc iris exactly square his natal sun that's another uh, powerful powerful indicator of what is happening to him now my sense is that this guy is going to hurt trump and i'm going to say that it's likely to happen in 2019, 2020, and 2021, all of those years, or perhaps only in, in bulk in one of those years, but that's the period because you see that Cohen's Pluto-Uranus conjunction is lined up in a square to Trump's Sun-Uranus and Trump's Moon, you know, the famous full moon opposition alignment that Trump has. Pluto-Uranus in a situation like this, astrology always works in context. In a situation like this, Pluto Uranus are extremely dangerous. And the reason why I'm guessing 2019, 2020, 2021, is that the transiting uh, Neptune, which we see here, is just moving into those degrees, which will then be opposing these planets. And you can see in Michael Cohen's chart that if we look back here, Neptune is uh, very active by way of a square to Mercury at birth. You know, Mercury rules Virgo, but Neptune is extremely important. I should also add that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, in both Michael Cohen and in Donald Trump's chart, Neptune is being expressed at a pretty low level. You know, essentially people that are um, highly deceptive and, in a word, uh, big fat liars.